A sepal is a part of the flower of angiosperms. Usually green, sepals typically function as protection for the flower in bud, and often as support for the petals when in bloom. The term sepalum was coined by Noel Martin Joseph de Necker in 1790, and derived from the Greek skepe, a covering. Collectively, the sepals are called the calyx, the outermost whorl of parts that form a flower. The word calyx was adopted from the Latin calyx, not to be confused with calyx, a cup or goblet. Calyx derived from the Greek calyx, a bud, a calyx, a husk or wrapping, while calyx derived from the Greek calyx, a cup or goblet, and the words have been used interchangeably in botanical Latin. After flowering, most plants have no more use for the calyx which withers or becomes vestigial. Some plants retain a thorny calyx, either dried or live, as protection for the fruit or seeds. Examples include species of Asana, some of the Solanaceae, and the water caltrop, Tropa natans. In some species the calyx not only persists after flowering, but instead of withering, begins to grow until it forms a bladder-like enclosure around the fruit. This is an effective protection against some kinds of birds and insects, for example in Hibiscus trionum and the Cape gooseberry. Morphologically, both sepals and petals are modified leaves. The calyx and the corolla are the outer sterile whorls of the flower, which together form what is known as the perianth. The term tepal is usually applied when the parts of the perianth are difficult to distinguish, e.g. the petals and sepals share the same color, or the petals are absent and the sepals are colorful. When the indifferentiated tepals resemble petals, they are referred to as petaloid, as in petaloid monocots, orders of monocots with brightly colored tepals. Since they include liliolus, an alternative name is lilioid monocots. Examples of plants in which the term tepal is appropriate include genera such as aloe and tulipa. In contrast, genera such as rosa and phaseolus have well distinguished sepals and petals. The number of sepals in a flower is its morosity. Flower morosity is indicative of a plant's classification. The morosity of a eudicot flower is typically four or five. The morosity of a monocot or paleodicot flower is three, or a multiple of three. The development and form of the sepals vary considerably among flowering plants. They may be free or fused together. Often, the sepals are much reduced, appearing somewhat on-like, or as scales, teeth, or ridges. Most often such structures protrude until the fruit is mature and falls off. Examples of flowers with much reduced perianths are found among the grasses. In some flowers, the sepals are fused towards the base, forming a calyx tube. In other flowers a hypanthium includes the bases of sepals, petals, and the attachment points of the stamens.